I would. She, she said she was buying with both hands, is that? Yeah, <laughs> she's, yeah. she's too fisted. <laughs> uh, let's come up to the data deck for a moment here. We'll show you a little bit about how this vote, why it went the way it did. Uh, I would focus on this part of the country. You know, th this, this, was, this was Donald Trump's quest to go after uh, the upper Midwest here in these states. Uh, I'll show you about manufacturing job loss going back 25 years. Uh, in the state of Pennsylvania, which he won, uh, they've lost 398,000 jobs, a, a decline of 41% over that time period. Uh, over here in Ohio, it was down 34%, 359,000 jobs. Again, that message about, you know, where are your jobs, your steel, your coal, the, you know, they're going overseas. Same message in Michigan. Uh, they were down 26, almost 27% in that time period. And I would finish off with Wisconsin, where they're off about 51,000 in that period, almost 10%. And that's, and that's what Trump Trump's been, Trump's been going after, you know, for the past two years. Uh, the other thing I would offer here, it, and like deep blue Pennsylvania now, uh, th this is Lucerne County. It's right near where Joe Biden grew up, you know, right near Scranton, Pennsylvania. You know, Trump won the county. L look what that was four years ago. Uh, this was an easy win for Barack Obama by five points, and now you see the way this flips. And you can you can go through this map and just kind of pick and choose wherever you want to go. Up here in northeastern Ohio, I talked a lot about this at two o'clock in the morning earlier today. Trumbull County. This is deep blue America. At least it had been in 2012 and in 2008 and in 2004, and, and now the shift as it goes from Democrat to Republican in favor of Donald Trump. And it's really, it tells us a fascinating story, Martha, as we dive into these numbers as to, you know, how he was led to victory. We've got so many more examples, too, and we'll pull you up a, a few next hour, too. Yeah, Back downstairs, so the mezzanine level to the Thank you street so much. levels. Yeah. Thanks, Bill. Uh, so how did the polls get us so wrong, right? I mean, that's one of the biggest conversations people are having over their coffee this morning. Tom Bevan, executive editor of Real Clear Politics, joins us now. And Tom, good morning. Good morning. You know, I mean... Like many of us and many people out there, I check real flow politics every morning. And you go through the, the numbers of polls, and there were two that were always pro Trump. You had the investors.